Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this looks a lot different than my usual videos, but I wanted to try something different, something more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to try something different. Let me know if you guys like this a little bit more. Um, but today, I have a very exciting video. I've been waiting for so long to film this video. Uh, I haven't had any time recently, it's been crazy. But I'm doing my very first Aritzia haul. So as you guys can see, I've got a very large amount of things. Uh, this was not in one sitting. This was over a span of maybe like a couple months or something like that. So yeah, I have never shopped at Aritzia before, before all of this stuff. That's why I bought so many things. You know like when you find a store that you really love that you've never tried anything from before and now all of a sudden you've got to try like all of the like cult favorites and like there's so many options, so many things you've never gotten before. That's me. So... I do also want to say that this video is not sponsored by Rexia. Um, I know that the last few videos have been sponsored from me. This one is not sponsored. I spent my own money on these things, so I'm very excited to share them with you. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with one of the cult favorites from Maritzia and actually something that I'm wearing currently right now underneath this blazer. Uh, it is the contour bodysuit. Now, if you guys have shopped at Maritzia or watched other Maritzia videos, you've probably heard of the contour bodysuit. It is a bodysuit that pretty much everybody's talking about and I got four. I got four. I got four. So this is what it looks like not on your body. Obviously I'm wearing the black one right now, which I've worn multiple times. I wore it to an audition also, which was amazing. Um, but this is the white one. It just looks like this. It is a very, very soft material. Really, really good quality. That's one of my favorite things about, I think it's actually my favorite thing about Aritzia is that everything is really good quality and will last you a very long time. That is also kind of why the price is higher than other stores um, but personally I would rather spend a little bit more money on something that's gonna last me years and years potentially the rest of the time that I'm wearing clothes like this <laughs> um, uh, than spending like less money on something that's I'm gonna have to rebuy a bunch of times so this is from the brand of Babaton um, at Aritzia they have a uh, like three different brands I think it's Babaton Wilfred and Sunday Best. It is a nice square neck. I think that's what makes it so flattering. Obviously, you guys are going to see all the try-ons, but this is what it looks like. It's double layered also, so I love that, especially with the whites, but even the black one, all of them is double lined, and I love that. It makes you look very nice. The only thing that is kind of a negative is that it doesn't have a snap closure. It is just a thong bodysuit and has no snap. I personally don't really care because I love the bodysuit so much, but this is definitely one that I highly, highly recommend. And yeah, it's just called the Contour Bodysuit in white. Uh, this one runs for $48 and I got it in a size small. Now with the sizing, this one I got in a size small, but this one that I'm wearing is a size extra small. The reason I didn't get an extra small in this one was because I have a bigger chest. I have a 32 double D chest and um, with the white one, when I tried on the extra small, you could kind of like see this weird, like it was looking really weird. Like it was too stretched out right here. So that's why, especially at least in just the white, it was looking almost like kind of see-through. So that's why I sized up to a small, which is perfectly fine on me. Um, but the other, this one, I did get an extra small and it still fits great. So I don't know if there's too much of a size difference between the two, but yes. So that's the white one. And then the two other colors that I got are a gray one and this really beautiful uh, like copper, like deep copper color. It's a little deeper in person than it's showing up on camera, but I love it so much. So this one, oh, this one is also in size small. Um, so I think it might've just been because that was the only size that they had in store. Almost everything that I have here is from in store. I bought them in store. Um, a couple things I did order online, but mostly in store because I wanted to try everything on. So um, if they just didn't have the extra small or something, I would just go with the small. So. I got this one. This one is in the shade Rich Copper and it is so beautiful for fall. I love it so much. Ah! 
So this gray one is a little different. This is actually from the group by Babaton, and this is the soft contour. So this one is actually in a slightly different fabric. So this feels more like a jersey, just kind of a more casual like look, I think. Um, and I thought in gray, obviously, the casual look was really nice. So I thought this would look really good with jeans or something like that. Um, so that's what I got. This is in Heather Chrome, and this one is in an extra small. So that is the contour bodysuit, very popular. I also did actually order another contour. It's like the long sleeve, um, like square neck version that was like really popular on TikTok. Um, and it completely sold out, so it's back ordered, but I ordered it like, a month and a half ago and it still hasn't come so that's unfortunate but i did order that and it's on its way so so i actually also got this t-shirt now one of the main things that i told myself when i started shopping at aritzia was that the main things i wanted to get were basics i think that for more different pieces pattern pieces extravagant pieces i don't think you necessarily need to spend that much money on those but pieces that you're gonna wear all the time like t-shirts tank tops jackets coats things like that pants very very good idea to get nice quality stuff so that was my main thought and that's why i wanted to get a t-shirt like this i don't know exactly the name of this t-shirt everything will be obviously on the screen and linked below but it's this really beautiful um t-shirt it's like a full length t-shirt not cropped and has a pocket in the front it's a very like i'm sure you can tell it's like nice and weighty i love it so much it's amazing with jeans i think everyone needs to have a shirt like this i got this size in an extra small and this is from the wilfred free um collection uh it's just an amazing t-shirt and i think everybody needs just like a full length white like nice t-shirt it's also not super tight it's just kind of like a boyfriend fit and i love it so much and it's just very wearable and i think just like i said everyone needs a t-shirt like this so amazing and you can style this with so many different things too so i am a big fan and i've already worn this multiple times as well okay so the next piece i'm going to show you guys is this long sleeve crop from the brand sunday best this is the Bliss Long Sleeve Tee. Uh, I've heard a lot of people raving about the Bliss Tees, the Bliss Long Sleeves. Um, so I thought that this would be a really good basic for me to get, obviously. I don't even have a, like, a long sleeve white shirt. So this is the Bliss Tee in white. I got it in an extra small. And the only thing is, it is a little bit see-through, as you can see the hanger. I do have a light here though, so it is a little shiny. But I thought it would be really cute with a cute little bralette or a very cute bra, like something nice and simple underneath, or you can wear something nude. Um, but I just thought it was really, I mean, it's amazing quality. Like it just feels really nice. So this shirt is made from tensile, I think is how you pronounce it, but it's biodegradable fiber sourced mainly from natural beech wood. Is it beech? from natural beech wood and produced through an environmentally low impact process. So that's another thing on top of so many things that I love about Aritzia is a lot of their stuff is ethically sourced or very well made. I love that and I love this long sleeve, very cute. It is a crop and it's a little ribbed as well, um, but it's very soft and I love it so much. Really cute for layering like underneath stuff. Okay, so the next shirt I'm gonna show you guys is this one, and this was kind of a recent purchase for me, and I love this. So this is just a white button-up. I think it's called like the boyfriend button-up or something. I love this so much. I think everybody needs like a nice white button-up. This is a really, really good quality one. It almost feels like linen. It might be. This is, I got this in a size extra small as well. This is from the Wilfred Free Collection, and these are decently oversized as well, so I probably wouldn't size up in this. Um, you could just do your normal size or even size down if that's too oversized for you. Um, but yeah, I love this, and it's just such a good staple. You can wear it with so many things. This is just a really good transitional piece from fall to winter or winter to spring. Honestly, you could still wear this in the summer depending on where you live. So it's just an all around amazing piece to have and you can layer it and you can wear it over a dress or you can wear it to the beach or you can wear it out. The possibilities are endless. So I really, really highly recommend you guys get this button up. It's really cute. And I have already worn this as well. Okay, so that is it for the shirts and tank tops. Now we're gonna move into dresses. This might be my all-time new favorite like casual or like 
basic dress. So this is the Saturn mini dress in black. Now, the reason why it caught my eye was the cut is like pretty much exactly the same as the um, contour bodysuit and everyone seems to love and me as well love the cut of the front so this caught my eye immediately and it is just a wrap a mini wrap dress so actually I don't know if you can really tell but here's the wrap you guys will see on the try on but it's just a little mini wrap dress and it's just such a good basic to have I don't have surprisingly a just like basic black dress that's like I could wear casually or I could wear out um, so I was like this I need this and it actually is a decently affordable price I think this one is $68 so for a dress from Maritzia, it's not that bad surprisingly I did get this in a size extra small I love this piece so much and I actually did get another one so I got the same dress in gray I thought gray was like a really cute like casual color I can wear it with like sneakers and it would look just like really cute um, so this is still the Saturn mini this is in new Heather gray and I actually did get this one in a small because they didn't have an extra small and I really really wanted it like really bad so I was like it's fine the small is fine like this is also made from the tensile fabric um, a wood based fiber produced through a closed loop production process I just thought like a gray dress was like a little bit different. I feel like not a lot of people wear like, there's not a lot of like gray dresses, like heathered gray dresses. And so I thought it was really cute and um, I'm excited to wear it. I haven't worn this one yet, but. Okay, so the last dress I have to show you guys is my favorite one by far. I have been eyeing this dress every single time I went into a Ritzia, I would see it and I'd be like, I feel like that would look really cute. And one day I finally just decided to try it on. This is what it looks like. It is a maxi dress. Um, I don't know the exact name because I've already worn it out. Um, but it is, I'm pretty sure this is the same material as the other ones, the Tincel fabric. This dress is just so flattering and it's like so sweet looking. Like you just look like a little sweet, like someone that's just really sweet. I don't know how to explain it, but it is a maxi dress. It's very like heavy feeling, even though it's not, it's not double layered. Like it doesn't have like a, like two layers on the bottom, but it feels very thick and it's not see-through at all. It's such an amazing dress. I love that it also holds up your boobies very nicely, but if you wanted to wear a bra, it's not like a spaghetti strap, so you could still wear a bra underneath it. But I did get this in a size extra small. This is from the Wilfred line. And they also have it in this beautiful like light blue color and I really want to get that one. I wore this the other or like maybe a couple weeks ago with some high top black converse and it just looked so cute with like my hair in a bun. Um, so I love this so much and it's also great for fall. You can wear a jacket or a coat over top of it um, and it'll keep your legs more warm than like a mini dress. So highly recommend this dress if you guys are looking for something like this. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna move into bottoms. I have so many pairs of pants to show you guys. Like I think pants were like my initial thing that just made me fall in love with Aritzia. So I actually do have one skirt to show you guys. It is this little skirt like this. It's like a pencil skirt, um, but this doesn't, this looks really weird without wearing it. This looks very strange without having it on, but it's just like one of those like scrunched skirts and it has like a little scrunch on the side and stuff. It's just really cute, really flattering and very basic. So I thought I would definitely need one of these. Um, and so I got it. This is actually from the brand TNA. Oh, I forgot about that brand. They do have the TNA brand, which I do have some other things from there. And I did get this in a size extra small and I love it so much. So very basic, very cute. I've worn it with a costume. I actually wore it also with a hoodie over top and some sneakers and I thought it looked really cute. Um, just obviously very easy to style. And everybody needs a basic black skirt, I think. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna talk about something that I'm extremely excited about, and I don't know how I snagged these. I think it's because somebody returned them in store. Um, but I got a pair of effortless pants, and I got them in this beautiful brown color. So these are the very coveted effortless pants, and they are pretty much sold out everywhere. It's very unfortunate. Um, I've been trying to get the black ones for a long time. I might just have to order them back ordered. So I am a big trousers girl. I'm wearing a pair right now that I've had for a long time from Princess Polly. 
but um, obviously nowhere near the quality of these. These are like legit trousers. Like I did get these in a size two. This is like a baggier version of trousers. So these are supposed to be full length all the way to the floor baggy, not fitted at all, except for by the waist. But I did get these in a size two, which I think when I order the black ones, I'm gonna order a zero because they are a little bigger on the waist, like still totally fine as you can see in the try on. They fit fine, but I just know that a zero is going to fit my waist a lot better. So I will be ordering the um, black ones in size zero, but the shoes are fine. I would recommend sizing down though. Definitely size down in the Everless pants. They are big, they do run big. And the only other thing is they are pretty long. So I'm 5'2", pretty short, and they are long on me. So I'm definitely gonna have to get them hemmed. If you guys like trousers, they have so many different colors too. Highly recommend. These are the most flattering pair that I've found pretty much ever. And just absolutely amazing quality. Just like really nice, thick, just, just great. And they have so many, by the way, they have so many different kinds of trousers as well. I'll show you another pair. They have so many different styles too. If the baggy like boyfriend look is not your style, they have a lot more fitted ones or ones that were, that are probably more fitted for going to work in an office. They've got the two pockets on the side. They're pleated and there's also pockets in the back. I'm so excited to sell these with just like cool streetwear like sneakers and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so moving on to another pair of trousers. This is the first pair of trousers that I got from Aritzia, um, kind of before I knew about the effortless pants. So these are a different style. These are actually the Dashwood trousers. Now these are still pretty baggy, still pretty um, boyfriend fit. The only difference is they don't go all the way down, unless you're shorter than me. Um, they don't go all the way down uh, and they don't have as wide of a leg. Um, and there's also a little cuff at the bottom. So they're a little bit different and they also do have like a scrunch like back as well. More of a like, gray sage color, like a gr almost greenish color, but I thought it was really cute and really like different looking. So I really love these and these are in a size two and they do fit true to size. Very cute. I love them so much. They are just like, I love trousers guys. I love them. And I actually have worn these already. I've worn this with the white t-shirt, like tucked in the front a little bit with some sinkers. So cute. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to something that pretty much everybody talks about. Um, whether you shop at Aritzia or not, you've probably heard of the Molina pant. This is the first item I ever bought from Aritzia. This is what my friend went in to go try out and buy, um, and what I eventually ended up also trying on and buying them right away. So these are the Aritzia Molina pant. Guys, I highly, highly recommend their faux leather items. I mean, the leather just feels so so soft like honestly better than real leather it's just so soft so like plush feeling and i also love that it's nice and shiny looking i just think it has just such a beautiful sheen and they're so comfortable they are not hot they are not um too tight or anything like that there is a different fabric obviously on the inside it is not leather on the inside that would be very uncomfortable um and i mean they're just as amazing as everyone says so I got the regular Molinas. I did not get the cropped or the ankle. Initially, I did buy the ankles because that is what my friend bought and what I tried on. And then after a while, I was kind of like, mm, I kind of want them to scrunch a little bit when I wear sneakers. Like I want them to be more of a full length look. And with the ankle being 5'2", it was just touching, like it had just touched the top of my shoe and I wanted it to be more long than that. So I was like, uh, maybe I should just try on the regular Molina. Like they have long too, I think. Um, maybe I should just try on the regular ones. And I tried them on and they're absolutely perfect and they let me exchange them. So I did exchange them. I did get them in a size two. The leather pants look is definitely a trend right now, but I think that it's always been a trend and always really popular. So, but yeah, these definitely live up to the hype. I know that they were going really uh, viral on TikTok. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to another pair of pants. These are the modern cargo pants. These ones are also pretty popular um, for Aritzia. 
they just look like this they're very cute i'm pretty sure i got these i've worn these multiple times already uh i think this is in the uh birch color or something like that um but this is from the wilfred free line and i got them in a size zero so very amazing these are probably the most comfortable pants i've ever worn like literally they're so comfortable they're so stretchy they're not constricting they're not too thick so yes modern cargo very very popular and very cute they're kind of like a trouser style pants as well so they're full length and they're kind of a wide leg look so i like that also they also have these in like a ton of different colors so i kind of want to get them in the black color as well um and i wish that they made them in like a straight white color because i think i would buy that also but okay so now we're going to talk about probably my favorite thing that i mm, my top for my top three for sure of my favorite things that i've gotten from aritzia these are a pair of a goldie jeans now <sighs> the goldie jeans are so expensive honestly whenever i heard how much the uh, goldie jeans were i was like that is ridiculous there's no reason why you need to spend that much money on jeans that's just like you can go to levi's and get like a jeans for a hundred dollars and they're really good quality um but while i was in store i was just like let me just try them on like what's the big deal what is the big deal and i did try on these ones which are the 90s jean sorry they're unbuttoned because i've worn them already many times um these are the 90s jeans when i tried these on the main seller for me was that there was no gap in the back of my jeans there was no gap they fit perfectly around my waist they were not too tight on my butt they were the perfect length I wanted. I've been looking for so long for a pair of light wash jeans that were, that went like all the way down, like full length, um, and were almost like a wide leg, straight leg look, but, but that went all the way down and weren't like cropped or anything. Um, and I just couldn't find them anywhere. Like I couldn't even find them at Levi's. Um, and these were exactly what I was looking for. Not only that, but there was no gap in the back of my jeans oh my god i was so excited it's also a full button fly closure so that's also really nice um and just better for your jeans in general so when i tried them on and i was like these are probably the most perfect pair of jeans i've ever worn in my life i was like hey you know i told myself i would only buy the basics and i would buy you know i only spend the money on things that i can have for a very long time and i think a pair of jeans is like one of the main things. There's no holes, no rips. Um, so I just wanted to get the basic version. I also did get these in a size 24, but yeah, I, I highly recommend these. I know that they're expensive, but it's kind of good to have a good, just really good quality pair of jeans that fits really well that you really love. And I can just wear these with so many different outfits, obviously. So, okay, so now I'm gonna move on to talking about sweats. I did get three pairs of sweats um, from the TNA line from Maurizio, which is their most popular like sweatpants, sweatshirts line. I'm gonna start with the sweatpants. <laughs> I got the TNA Cozy AF fleece sweatpants, but I got it in the white color. Um, I've worn these so much. Like I'm not even I'm not even kidding so much. I just wore them all day yesterday and probably the day before that too. And I just washed them. They're like a still a little bit damp because I wanted to film this video, but I just washed them just before this video and they were really dirty. Like had like black stuff on it from like I don't know what. And they cleaned so well. And I've washed these by the way like five times because they're white and every time I get something on them, I just wash them right away. But Guys, these sweatpants, this like TNA cozy AF line is so soft, so plushy, just like probably the most comfortable pair of sweatpants I've ever owned in my life. And they're just like a basic sweatpant. They've got the cuff at the bottom and the drawstring on the inside, especially for a set. Like they have a lot of sets, like the same sweatpants and sweatshirts. Um, so I love that too. You can get just one color or you can get a set so i love that so along with these sweatpants i also got the crew neck <laughs> so i think this was the first one that i got this is the tna cozy af fleece crew neck um i don't know exactly the name of it like i said i will link it um but i did get this in a size two because i just wanted it to be a little bit bigger 
I love them so much and especially with fall coming up it's just like a great piece to wear underneath like a coat for a jacket and you can wear it with um, a skirt or you can wear it with um, leggings or jeans or anything obviously I just wanted a nice white crew neck basic can wear it with everything okay so the last thing I got from the cozy AF TNA line is a hoodie um, this is just a basic white hoodie I already got a stain on it right there I think it's from SpaghettiOs it is going away though the more I wash it so that's good um, but this is what it looks like. I really like hoodies that don't have the drawstring. I just think it looks a lot more, more high quality for some reason, because sometimes these strings can look a little cheap looking. So I actually really prefer them not having the strings. And I love that they have the option with strings, without strings, they have all different kinds of hoodies. Oh, so this is just the uh, TNA Cozy. This isn't the TNA Cozy AF. Um, I really don't feel the difference, so I don't know what the difference is, but I did get this in a size two as well, and it fits perfectly. Um, I think if I really wanted like a big oversized fit, I would probably do a three, but I wanted more of like a medium size, because all of my other hoodies and crewnecks are like extra large or large. Um, so I wanted one that was a little bit more fitted that I could wear with like jeans or something. It's still decently damp, so that needs to be dried. I love this so much and I also love that the hood is like really big. You can't really tell. Hopefully you can tell in the try on, but the hood is nice and chunky and I love when my hood, like my hoodies have to have a big hood and not be like choking me right here because that bothers me so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some cardigans. I actually have two to show you guys. This one is from the brand Sunday Best. And this is just a really cute little white cardigan. This is the one that I picked out. It is this really fuzzy, like furry material, which I think is kind of different and cute. Um, and this is called the Reese cardigan and it is in the color Escape. I did get it in a size medium because I wanted it to be like a little like flowier. And it also comes with buttons, extra buttons, which is really nice. A lot of their stuff does really cute and I think you can wear this with a lot of things and you can style it a lot of different ways obviously it is a white cardigan um, and it's really good quality it feels really nice too so I love that guys this video is gonna be so long I hope you guys are like not bored I mean I just bought so many things okay so this is probably my favorite um, cardigan ever this is I'm pretty sure called the Belize cardigan um, I've heard a few people talking about this and uh, I think I just ran into it in store before I saw um, like videos of it but this is kind of exactly what I was looking for it's a very nice it's almost like a camel coat but in a cardigan style so it's really nice for fall it's not like a coat it's thinner than that um, if it's too warm for a coat but it still has that same look so it is a full length cardigan and has two pockets on the sides there and also it does have a string to cinch up the waist if you'd like to do that um, I like to wear it open but it's really beautiful and it also has these really nice slits on the sides which make it um, very flattering as well. I did get it in a size small and it fits perfectly and I love it so much and I've already worn this. I actually wore this over top of the maxi dress that I showed you, the black one, and it just looked really cute and I, I mean I love this so much. I highly recommend it. They have it in a ton, ton of different colors and it's just like such a great piece for fall uh very good quality nice and heavy but yeah i love this so much and i think that like literally everyone would love this for fall so highly recommend okay so now we're gonna move on to jackets blazers so i do want to talk about the blazer that i'm wearing right now so this is the flores blazer i believe in the heather birch color uh, I love this blazer. I did get it. As you can see, it's a little oversized. Um, I wanted to go for that like Hailey Bieber oversized like blazer look. Uh, and I love that this just really achieves that, that look. I did get it in a size medium. These are a little oversized for blazers, so I do like that. Um, but I got it in a size medium. It's really cute. I know a lot of people love the Flores blazer. So currently, I will show you guys a clip of the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing the blazer and some trousers um, and then some sneakers and the contour bodysuit underneath. I love this one so much and I just think it's really like stylish looking and oversized and I really like that look. So, love this blazer. 
This is definitely one of my favorite things that I've gotten from Aritzia. I mean, I keep saying that about everything because I love everything, but I did get a leather jacket. So this leather jacket is the vegan, stop texting me. This leather jacket is made from the same vegan leather that the Melina pants are made out of. It's their amazing vegan leather, ages really well. It's just like amazing quality. Um, and I actually got this in a size large. So I have never been a leather jacket girl. I have tried so many leather jackets and I just feel like I look so bad in them. Like I was always just like, I wish I could wear a leather jacket, but it just looks so bad on me. Not my thing. Um, and when I was at Aritzia, I was like, oh, maybe like, let me just try on the leather jacket and see if this one looks better. I tried it on in my normal size, which is an extra small. Tried on an extra small, it fit, it looks like a leather jacket and I didn't like it. I was like, that does not look good on me. I think because my torso is short, it like always would like hit me in a weird length that would just make my upper body look very boxy looking. And I didn't like that. So. They had an extra small and they also had a large. And when I went to go put the extra small back, I was like, oh, let me just try on the large. Like it's not gonna look good, but whatever. Cause I'm just desperate for a leather jacket. And I tried on the large and I've never thought that I looked better in my life. I was, it's like a whole new world opened up for me. It looks amazing. It looks exactly how I wanted a leather jacket to look on me. Again, I'm referencing like the Hailey Bieber look. I think I was meaning to go for more of a Hailey Bieber oversized look because everything that I wear or a lot of jackets I wear, I tend to buy oversized. And I don't know why I didn't think to do that with a leather jacket. I think everyone knows that like a leather jacket is an amazing staple to have in your wardrobe. Like I'll have this for probably the rest of my life. And I'm so, so happy that I found this. Like. I love it so much. I've already worn it. I wore it to an audition um, and it was just so cute. I, uh, I love it so much. I'm so happy about this. So I highly recommend, um, the, I think this is called the Diaz um, and I got it in a size large. I think they have other colors as well. Um, this is from the Wilfred, Wilfred collection. Okay guys, we've come to the last item in my haul and we're gonna talk about coats. I have a coat to show you guys, but I do wanna say that originally, the coat that I bought was not this coat. I originally bought the Stedman coat. Now I do have a clip. I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like on the website. Um, and then I did get it in the mail. That's the one thing that I did order because in LA, they just like didn't have a lot of coats in the stores, obviously. It came and I tried it on. I got it in size two and it looked okay, but I do have one that's similar from Zara, from their like expensive line at Zara or like their really good quality, like Italy brand or whatever. Um, I did have one that was really similar and I don't know, I tried it on and it wasn't like oversized enough. It wasn't like the look I was looking for. Um, I did take a clip, uh, a video of me wearing it before I returned it. Um, but for the price, I mean, their coats are pretty expensive because they're made out of really amazing qualities like wool and cashmere. So uh, obviously if I didn't find it absolutely perfect, I didn't want to keep it. I was like, I can find one that I will love so much. Um, so as you can see, I tried it on in the video with a hoodie underneath and it was just too tight. Um, it was not what I was looking for. I didn't really want shoulder pads either in the coat because the coat that I already have from Zara has the shoulder pads and is pretty much the same fit. Um, so I didn't feel like I needed two of something that was very similar, especially for the price. So I just didn't love it as much as I thought I was gonna love it and I ended up returning it and ordering this coat. The coat that I did end up with is the slouch coat, which is extremely popular on Aritzia. And the reason why I didn't want to get this one initially was because I thought it would be too heavy. I thought it would be too thick to wear in LA, too thick um, in general, too much of a coat coat. Um, and, but I was like, I have nothing to lose. I might as well order it. And if I don't like it, I can return it. And when it came in the mail, I was like, okay, here we go. It looks pretty big. I got it in a size two. Um, and it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It is like obviously a coat because the Sedman one that I ordered was unlined. So it would have been pretty good for LA if it was the like the fit that I wanted. Um, but I was like, you know what? I need a coat. I can wear this when I go to Michigan. I'm gonna take this to Michigan with me. Um, you know, I feel like I just need a coat. And I love this coat so much. It's exactly what I was looking for. Again, very Hailey Bieber vibes is what I was looking for. 
Um, I did get this one though. This is, there's two different kinds. There is the wool one, the like virgin wool, and then this one is the uh, recycled camel hair with like a wool blend, I think. So yeah, recycled camel hair and wool. Um, so these tags are sewn on, but they're meant to take off. I do see there's a lot of people who do leave them on. You can leave them on for more of like that look, like kind of like the brand look. Um, I'm gonna take them off just because I think that it's more classy looking without the tags. Um, and then also in the reviews, I did notice a lot of people were saying, the pockets are sewn shut. Like why would you even put pot? There's no pockets. Um, they, it comes with the pocket sewn shut and you're supposed to use a seam ripper and undo that. Um, so there are pockets, you just have to um, open them up. Uh, so yeah, I love this coat so much. It is a double breasted coat and I got this in the shade, oh I don't know because I already took the tabs off. It's like their classic camel color and the reason why I bought the camel version, like the recycled camel hair version is because based on reviews, everyone was saying that this one is a lot more malleable as you can see. Um, it is just more lightweight, it is not as stiff. The other version, the virgin wool, I think it's called like the virgin wool, um, that one is a lot more stiff. It's a lot more thick, boxier looking. Um, and so for LA especially, I wanted something that was nice and malleable, something a little flowier, um, easy to wear over top of a lot of things and not so formal looking. I think the other one probably looks a little too formal for what I was going for. Um, I wanted to be able to wear jeans underneath this, to wear a dress, to wear really anything underneath. And I just love that this one is just a lot more malleable, a lot um, more lightweight. It is not as thick as the other one. Um, so yes, if you're looking for that, I highly recommend this one. It is also softer um, as what other people are saying. Based on reviews, this one is softer than the other one um, because it is the recycled camel hair. So I also love that there is no shoulder pads either. It is just a very slouchy, very oversized look. Guys, this coat is very oversized and I got it in a size two, um, but it's perfect. It's also very long. Um, it goes pretty much all the way down to the, not all the way down to the ground, but kind of to my mid calf. Um, and I'm 5'2", so I think honestly, you're pretty much good in the length unless you didn't want something that was that long, but I wanted like a full length coat. So yes, this is definitely my favorite thing that I got from Aritzia. I'm so happy that I got this coat. I'm so happy that I took the time to like really decide which one I wanted because of the price. Um, I'm happy that I tried different ones and came to the one that I love. And that is the slouch. So yes, this is double breasted, which means that this can button all the way across. So you can button it's got like two layers of buttons like that. Um, I'll probably never button it, um, but yes. And it is also fully lined, the arms and the inside is fully lined as well. Okay guys, I think that is it. That is everything that I got from Aritzia. That's basic, it's also basically my Aritzia collection because this is everything that I have from Aritzia. If you guys liked this video, let me know and like, Whenever I get stuff from Marincia, which I honestly have been still getting things, um, I will just like throw it into vlogs or maybe I'll do another haul if you guys are interested. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to like have this new brand that I just love so much and love all the clothes. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys found it interesting. Everything will be linked in the description um, as well as the sizes of everything that I got. Yeah, and if you have any questions about any of the items that I got or Aritzia in general let me know in the comments and i will answer all of the questions that you guys have but yeah that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a happy and positive day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye